Okay, today let's do uh, investing activities in the cash flow statement and I'll take up a question in investing activities. Now supposing I have this, the balance sheet is given Okay, now here we have equities and liabilities under this, the shareholders funds, equity share capital, here uh, 2 lakh and 3 lakh reserves and surplus under this profit and loss account twenty three thousand five hundred and fifty two thousand and then securities premium reserve this is 5000 after that you have the non current liabilities under this you have 10 percent debentures <coughs> Forty thousand and thirty five thousand then current liabilities provision for doubtful debts. Two thousand and three thousand accumulated depreciation fifteen thousand twenty five thousand five hundred creditors. <coughs> Thirty three thousand. Forty thousand and then you have outstanding expenses which is three thousand five hundred and four thousand five hundred. <clears throat> this is the liability side. Now the asset side. Non current assets inside this you have machinery, one lakh and one lakh thirty thousand computer, the closing balance is one lakh land is ten thousand and ten thousand uh, investments fifty thousand and thirty thousand right and the current assets are there As far as investing activities are concerned, uh, we'll not be doing anything with the current assets. So I'm just going to give you the additional information here. 
in the additional information we have this dividend paid at 8% on share capital during 2012 then investment costing rupees 20000 were sold in 2012 for rupees 25000 then missionary costing rupees 9000 on which rupees 1000 depreciation has been has been accumulated was sold for rupees 6000 <coughs> in the year 2012 right now we have to prepare the cash flow from investing activity for this now first of all this um, investment costing rupees 20,000 was sold in 2012 for 25,000 and machinery costing this much right uh, 9,000 on which 1,000 depreciation so now we have to make the ledger accounts in order to find out the uh, missing figures right so first of all I'll do the machinery account here uh, the opening balance will come first two balance brought down that's one lakh right and the closing balance by balance carried down it's one lakh thirty thousand okay then sale of machinery here we have we have been given machinery costing rupees 9000 uh, was sold for rupees 6000 here right okay so you will have by bank account 6000 right this is for the sale then then this one machinery costing rupees 9000 was sold for 6000 means there is a loss of 3000 okay so you will have buy profit and loss account for the loss buy profit and loss account the loss is how much 3000 rupees right okay now i am going to make the accumulated depreciation account here accumulated depreciation account uh, we have been given <coughs> this uh, One thousand depreciation has been accumulated on that machinery. That's what is given to you, and uh, in the current liabilities we had this accumulated depreciation the opening and closing balance right so now in the accumulated depreciation account this is the opening balance 15,000 25,500 is the closing balance right so now we will put that here here you will have buy balance brought down that is 15,000 and two balance carried down that is 25,000 500 right okay hmm. uh, then this uh, 1000 rupees which is the accumulated depreciation right okay hmm. that is two machinery account that will come here that is the accumulated depreciation and this one this will come in the machinery account as buy accumulated depreciation account fine or you can write buy provision for depreciation account 
and that will be 1000 rupees okay in fact uh, here machinery costing rupees 9000 on which rupees 1000 depreciation has been accumulated so this means the cost of the machine is 9000 on which 1000 depreciation has been accumulated means the book value is now 9000 minus 1000 which is 8000 book value is 8000 right so the loss will be 8000 minus 6000 and the loss will be 2000 rupees not 3000 because of that accumulated depreciation right okay now that accumulated depreciation has come now here you will have the balancing figure in the accumulated depreciation account that will be by profit and loss account this will be the depreciation for the current year right whatever is the balancing figure here so this will be how much this will be 26,500 right 26,500 minus 15,000 is 11,500 fine okay now come to the machinery account now here this will be the balancing figure in this side and this will be the purchases right so here if you total this this will be 1,30,000, 6 plus 2, 8 plus 1, 9. So that will be 1,39,000, right? 1,39,000. And uh, here this is 1 lakh. So 39,000 will be your purchases, fine? Now we have got this for the machinery. Now I'll move to the investment account. Now investment account, again, you will have to balance brought down that will be uh, 50,000 rupees that was the opening balance here you have this this is the opening balance and 30,000 is the closing balance right so here you will have by balance carried down 30,000 rupees then sale of investment by bank account the additional information it said investment costing rupees 20,000 were sold for 25,000 so the sale is 25,000 right sale is how much 25,000 and uh, here there is a profit to profit and loss account the profit is 5,000 fine now there is no uh, see both the sides are tallying 55,000 55,000 so there is no balancing figure here so nothing to be done only the sale will come for investments right okay now let's go to the preparation of the cash flow statement cash flow from investing activities right now we have already done see here you will have sale of investments right so you got how much 25,000 from this right then sale of machinery sale of machinery we got 6,000 rupees so that will come and now here purchase of machinery that was the balancing figure that we got that was 39,000 now that is a outflow right and then if you look at the balance sheet there is one more asset which is computer computer was nil in the beginning and in the next year it is 1 lakh so that is purchase of computer 1 lakh right <clears throat> so here you have purchase of computer that is again an outflow that will be 1 lakh rupees right so basically this is what will be your cash flow <clears throat> from investing activities so here you will have 1,39,000 1,39,000 1,39,000 1,39,000 1,39,000 1,39,000 1,39,000 1,39,000 1,39,000 1,39,000 1,39,000 1,39,000 1,39,000 1,39,000 1,39,000 1,39,000 1
39,000 minus 31,000. Right? So that comes to 1,8,000 rupees. So it's basically an outflow. Right? The purchases are more. So this is how you will find out the cash flow from investing activities in this question. Right? So with that, I come to the end of this session on uh, cash flow from investing activities.